Okay, today, back to a build video. I know, kind of weird here, but we are taking this and turning it into this, and then, you know, getting to, obviously, something like this, which I don't wanna give too much away, so done with that. But before we do that, I have to take off the accumulator. When I set up my water system, our water system, Mallory, my wife, lives with me in the van, we set it up with a SureFlow pump and a, uh, yeah, SureFlow accumulator as well. You can see that whole video right here, how we did it, why we did it, where to get that stuff, the tank size, all of those details. But after much consideration, we decided to take the accumulator off. I knew it wasn't a need and actually ended up kind of causing more issues than helping us. The juice really wasn't worth the squeeze on that one. Look at the bright side though, I take the accumulator off and we have a perfect space to add in an outdoor shower. We actually use Planet Fitness, an another video drop here, um, to take our showers in the van, but I'm running a marathon right now. Well, I'm, I'm training to run a marathon right now and I'm needing to take a lot more showers than we normally would be. So an outdoor shower seemed like it was a good thing to add to the van in this season. So now that the accumulator is off, I wanna show you the schematic of fittings and why we decided to do it the way we decided to do it. So this was our original plan. And it was gonna work fine, but honestly, we ended up going with a route that just had less fittings to buy. So one, it was cheaper, and two, it was just a little more simplistic as well. Which leads me to this picture. This is a three-way ball joint valve. That terminology may be a little off, but you get the idea. So when I twist it down, the water goes through, and then when it's up like this, the water flows up. Pretty simple, but I just liked how this valve was all encompassing everything we need and I will put all of these fittings and joints at the bottom in the link so you can sweep them up and put an outdoor shower in your van as well. Something to note, we used all half inch PEX piping on this. That's just already what we had plumbed into the van so wasn't really even a question. All right, moving on, we threw on some, well, for all of our threaded joints, we threw on some Teflon tape just to make sure those connections were secure and not gonna leak. Again, all these products in the description below. Also, don't be confused about the red PEX piping. It's not hot water, it's just the extra PEX that I had left over. And now you're seeing, essentially, me putting everything together with the shark bite valves, which if you've never used them, they have a pinching mechanism within them, so you essentially push them together and then they don't come apart unless you use like their little unlock tool, which I think I'm doing, yeah, right here. So, pretty simple really awesome engineered design of how these valves and joints work. And again, this is me just cutting all the different pecs, making sure I have the right sizes in between the joints. Once I connected the three-way joint and have my piping that will go all the way up to our sink, I then set up the piping and joints that will go to the outdoor shower. And again, this is me just figuring out the right size of the pecs. You should get one of these. I'll throw it in the description. I didn't have mine, so I was just using a razor blade. Do not highly recommend that. You want to get as straight a cut as possible to give you the most secure fitting. This is me measuring twice, cutting once, the golden handyman rule. It almost always pays off. And then yeah, secure everything. The way I did it was the outdoor shower will be attached from the outside of the van, which I'll show you right here. You can really do it anywhere around here. I just figure the shower wand hose that I got was only about 60 inches, so I wanted to give myself as much length with that as possible. So I put the male half inch thread on the outside of the van like this. And then this is what it looks like when it's mostly finished up. And of course, throwing on some Teflon tape and actually securing the shower head, shower wand. I don't know what the official title for it is, but it's in the description. And now it's time to uh, give it a shot after a few hours of work, figuring this all out. And if you're, if you're a uh, avid hobbyist or DIYer, you know that sometimes everything just doesn't work perfectly. So this was my first attempt at turning on the shower. I turn the knob and come back, turn the water on. And for some reason it just was trickling and it wasn't because I had it on wrong or right. It was just didn't seem to be getting enough pressure, which I knew wasn't right because our sink got enough pressure. I was bummed at first, but I went inside, hooked it up to a residential shower head, which has about 20 more PSI, and it just turned out something was clogged in the hose. It blew it out, and now it's working perfectly. 
The only last thing to note is I added a magnetic uh, contraption, if you will, right on the back of the wand holder, just so I can move it around the back of the van and have it accessible from different points. All right, that's it. Um, I didn't set up, you know, the shower curtain in the back. You, If you're setting up one of these in your van, you know that little trick, with shower curtain in between the doors and, um, that's not really what I wanted to do in this video. I wanted to show you how I pulled this all off in line with our plumbing system. And I think it's going to be great. We've loved using Planet Fitness, but this will just give us another option. And again, if I'm training for a marathon and just need a quick shower and don't want to get a full Planet Fitness shower experience, I can just rinse off real quick in the back using a, you know, maybe a gallon of water or a half a gallon and call it a day. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. There was a bit of a learning curve on just figuring out some of the detailed pieces that I needed. And plumbing can be a little finicky. So let me know and I'd love to answer if you have any problems along the way. We're gonna continue putting out videos, so go ahead and subscribe if this was helpful or if you just want more content like this. Until next time, see you later.